So let's, uh, let's kind of cover this because, again, one of the big things that we need to remember when we have a binomial squared is it's x plus 1 times x plus 1, right? Do not write x squared plus 1 squared, OK? It's x plus 1 times x plus 1. Therefore, we need to apply distributive property. Do, 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 right? You got to multiply every single term by every single term. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the exact same thing when we have this. Like, that is sine of x plus 1 times sine of x plus 1. So, when we multiply sine of x times sine of x, that is the product of <laughs> sine of x times sine of x, which is really just going to be sine of x quantity squared. All right, and I'll show you a simplified version in a second. But it's really just sine of x times sine of x, right? Which is that m squared. And then we have sine of x times 1, which is sine of x, plus sine of x times 1, which is sine of x, and then 1 times 1, which is 1. OK, now this notation for sine of x squared is perfectly fine. However, just remember, though, you're, you're squaring the function of x, right? It's sine of x times sine of x. Right? But remember, you have to have sine of something, right? Just like the square root of something. So don't write this, don't, if you don't have this parenthesis, then you're squaring the variable or you're squaring the angle of the function, which is not what we did. We multiplied sine of something times sine of something. So the better way to write this is we write sine squared of x. So what that tells us is we're squaring the function of that same angle. And then, guys, whenever we have two quantities, if we have like x plus x, when we have x times x, we have x squared. x plus x is 2x. So sine of x times sine of x is sine squared of x. Sine of x plus sine of x is 2 sine of x. And there you go.